Chapter 7 The Holocaust and Genocide In the darkest corners of history, we find the unfathomable depths of human cruelty and the urgent need to remember. Within the pages of this chapter lies a painful and haunting chronicle of one of humanity's darkest chapters, the Holocaust and other acts of genocide. It is a solemn journey that compels us to confront the depths of human cruelty and the imperative to ensure that such atrocities are never repeated. The Holocaust stands as a chilling testament to the depths of hatred and the devastating consequences of unchecked bigotry. As the world descended into the chaos of World War II, millions of innocent lives were systematically exterminated in a campaign of unimaginable horror. The Jewish people bore the brunt of this unfathomable genocide, with six million lives lost in the Holocaust, forever leaving a void in our shared humanity. In this chapter, we delve into the harrowing details of the Holocaust, tracing its origins, progression, and aftermath. We bear witness to the discriminatory policies, dehumanization, and persecution inflicted upon Jewish communities and other targeted groups. We confront the stark reality of concentration camps, gas chambers, and mass executions, where the machinery of death operated with ruthless efficiency. But the Holocaust is not an isolated event. It serves as a chilling reminder of the potential for evil that lurks within human hearts and the dangers of indifference in the face of injustice. We extend our exploration beyond the Holocaust to other acts of genocide that have scarred our collective history, the Armenian Genocide, the Rwandan Genocide, the Cambodian Genocide, and more. Each one a testament to the depths of human depravity, and the urgent need to prevent such horrors from recurring. In our examination of the Holocaust and other genocides, we also pay homage to the survivors and their enduring resilience. Their stories bear witness to unimaginable suffering, but also to the indomitable human spirit that can rise above the darkest of circumstances. Their voices serve as a beacon of hope urging us to honor their experiences, remember the fallen, and work tirelessly towards a world rooted in tolerance, understanding, and compassion. The Holocaust and genocides are not mere chapters in history, they are painful reminders of the consequences of hate, prejudice, and indifference. They demand our attention, our empathy, and our unwavering commitment to justice. We must learn from the past, confront the uncomfortable truths, and actively strive for a future where every human life is cherished and protected. As we embark on this chapter, let us remember the victims, honor the survivors, and pledge ourselves to the pursuit of a world free from hatred and violence. May their stories serve as an enduring call to action, reminding us that the wounds of the past must be acknowledged, the lessons of history must be learned, and the fight against injustice must never waver. Section 1. Rise of Nazi Antisemitism The rise of Nazi antisemitism in Germany during the 1930s and its subsequent spread throughout Nazi-occupied territories had a devastating impact on Jewish communities. In this section, Rise of Nazi Antisemitism, we delve into the discriminatory policies, persecution and dehumanization of Jews under Nazi rule. Subsection Discrimination and Persecution of Jews Under Nazi rule, Jews were systematically targeted for discrimination and persecution. They were subjected to a wide range of discriminatory measures that aimed to isolate, marginalize, and exclude them from various aspects of society. Jews were stripped of their rights, subjected to physical attacks, and faced severe economic and social restrictions. The Nuremberg Laws, enacted in 1935, were a pivotal moment in the institutionalization of anti-Semitic policies. 
These laws defined who was considered Jewish based on ancestry and introduced a series of discriminatory measures. Jews were denied citizenship, prohibited from marrying or having sexual relations with non-Jews and excluded from various professions and public institutions. The persecution of Jews escalated further with the implementation of policies such as Kristallnacht, also known as the Night of Broken Glass, in 1938. During this state-sponsored pogrom, synagogues were destroyed, Jewish-owned businesses were ransacked, and countless Jews were arrested and sent to concentration camps. Subsection The Nuremberg Laws and Ghettos The Nuremberg Laws, mentioned earlier, played a significant role in codifying the discriminatory policies against Jews. These laws not only stripped Jews of their rights and citizenship, but also paved the way for their segregation and confinement. One of the major consequences of anti-Semitic policies was the establishment of ghettos. Ghettos were enclosed areas where Jews were forcibly relocated, often in overcrowded and impoverished conditions. They were subjected to brutal living conditions, restricted access to food and basic necessities, and faced constant surveillance and harassment. The largest and most well-known ghetto was the Warsaw Ghetto in Poland, where hundreds of thousands of Jews were confined. Ghettos served both as a means of isolating and controlling the Jewish population and as staging grounds for mass deportations to concentration camps. The combination of discrimination, persecution, and confinement in ghettos marked a dark chapter in the history of Nazi anti-Semitism. It was a prelude to the horrors that would later unfold in the form of mass extermination and genocide during the Holocaust. The rise of Nazi anti-Semitism and the subsequent discrimination and persecution of Jews not only had immediate and devastating consequences for individuals and communities, but also laid the groundwork for the systematic and industrialized genocide that would follow. The Nuremberg Laws and the establishment of ghettos stand as chilling reminders of the depths of human cruelty and the urgent need to confront and eradicate hatred, discrimination, and bigotry in all its forms. Section 2 The Final Solution and Death Camps The implementation of the final solution by the Nazis marked a horrifying chapter in human history, leading to the systematic genocide of millions of innocent people. In this section, the final solution and death camps, we delve into the establishment of death camps, the atrocities committed within them, and the stories of resistance and eventual liberation. Subsection Auschwitz-Birkenau and Other Death Camps Among the most notorious death camps was Auschwitz-Birkenau, located in German-occupied Poland. It became a symbol of the Holocaust and the atrocities committed against Jews and other targeted groups. Auschwitz-Birkenau was not only a place of mass murder, but also a complex of concentration and extermination camps. Within Auschwitz-Birkenau, Jews and others deemed undesirable by the Nazis were subjected to dehumanizing conditions and systematic extermination. The camp included gas chambers and crematoria, where victims were killed in mass and their bodies incinerated. It is estimated that over one million people, the majority of whom were Jews, were murdered in Auschwitz-Birkenau. Other death camps, such as Treblinka, Sobibor, and Belzec, were also established with the sole purpose of exterminating as many people as possible. These camps were designed to efficiently process and murder victims on an industrial scale, using gas chambers and mass graves to dispose of the bodies. The conditions within these camps were horrific, with unimaginable suffering and death. Subsection Resistance and Liberation 
Despite the overwhelming odds and the systematic attempt to annihilate entire populations, acts of resistance and bravery emerged within the death camps. Jewish prisoners and other inmates showed remarkable courage in the face of certain death, staging uprisings and acts of defiance. One of the most well-known instances of resistance occurred in Auschwitz-Birkenau in October 1944. The Sonderkommando, a group of Jewish prisoners forced to work in the camp's crematoria, launched a revolt, attacking their captors and destroying one of the crematoriums. Although the uprising was ultimately suppressed, it stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who refused to succumb to despair. The liberation of the death camps by Allied forces towards the end of World War II brought an end to the unspeakable horrors. The scale and brutality of the Nazi genocide became apparent to the world as the liberating soldiers bore witness to the emaciated survivors, the mass graves, and the evidence of systematic extermination. The stories of resistance within the death camps and the eventual liberation serve as reminders of the resilience and courage of those who fought against the Nazi regime's genocidal agenda. They also reinforce the importance of never forgetting the atrocities committed and striving to prevent such acts of hatred and inhumanity from recurring. The final solution and the death camps stand as chilling reminders of the depths of human cruelty and the urgent need to safeguard the principles of human rights, tolerance, and compassion. It is through acknowledging the past, honoring the victims, and learning from their stories that we can strive for a world free from prejudice, discrimination, and the horrors of genocide.